What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the subtitles that you've been seeing in a lot of motivational reels that have been absolutely blowing up on IG Reels, TikTok, and YouTube Shorts. So I'm going to be showing you guys my whole workflow from start to finish. The first thing you're going to want to do is download CapCut onto your desktop. They do have an iOS version, but the desktop version is way easier to work on. So you're going to go to Finder, open up the the app store you're going to just type in cap cut so if you guys already have it on your you know computer then that's great but for people who don't know so it's this one right here the cap cut video editor super powerful in ways it's actually better than final cut in some ways not always so just there's a couple things that i feel like it's a little bit better than final cut and it's free as well so once you download it, you're going to open up CapCut and right here is going to be, you know, the start and you, you could click start creating. But since I already have a project, I'm just going to click that and boom, you know, you already have your timeline. So whatever footage you want to import, you can import it right here. You just click the import button and then you, send, you, you just import whatever you have to. But before that, what I recommend is first go to Instagram and you can go on your phone and whatever reels like any audios you really like or enjoy or you want to use for your own, bookmark it, save it. And then once you open up, you know, Instagram on your laptop or computer, you're going to go right here to the more tab right here and then go to saved and then click here. And then all the saved audios or reels that you've saved that you want to use will be here. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on the real audio you want to use. I'm going to use this one. You're going to go to these three little dots, click that. You're going to copy the link and then you're going to go into Google, open up another tab and you're going to put Insta video save .net audio. And what this is going to do, it's going to turn the reel into an MP3 so that you can have the audio. So once you have the video, the reel you want, you're going to paste it because we copied that reel and then you're going to click search right here and boom right here download audio you're going to click that and as you can tell in a couple seconds the audio is already downloaded now that we got that done now we're going to go to cap cut and then i'm going to pull up the footage i want to use so i'm going to you know import the footage i want to use boom right here you can select as many videos you want and then you're going to boom click add to track so yeah once you have the footage in your timeline all you're going to do is drag the audio that you downloaded right here, boom. You're gonna select the audio and then you're gonna go over to text and then right here is gonna say auto captions and then you're going to just click create whatever language you want. They have Japanese, Korean, Portuguese, so many different languages that I can't even believe they have that already. Not even Final Cut has this and the software is actually very powerful. I prefer this and it's just much easier. So you're gonna click create And right there, as you can tell, they have the subtitle. So I'll play it right here. You want it bad enough, nothing's going to stop you. Not fear, not somebody's opinion, not how hard your childhood was, not self-doubt, nothing will stop you. So another really cool feature that I like to do with this is that, you know, you can also change the color, the font, where a lot of people, I, I know you've seen this all over IG, but you can select so many different types of fonts. I like it just to keep it plain. And you can change the color, the style, the font size. You can make it bigger, smaller, whatever you want. I like to keep it minimal. You can slide it all the way up to the middle right here. And um, yeah, it makes, it makes the change to all the other things. All right, guys, so let's say that you want you know, if you want it bad enough, if you think this is too long and you want it a bit shorter, what you can do is you're going to shorten this in the timeline. There's multiple ways to do this, but I like to just shorten this right here. And then you're going to go right here into the captions. So if you're in the text, you're just going to select the captions area and then you're going to press add. So add just like that. And it creates another default. So look in the timeline. Now you have this part. So all I do is I copy the first part or the part I want to add. So it says, if you want it bad enough, stop, nothing's going to stop you. So I'm going to put 
I want this second part to be in the next part. And why I like this is because I don't want a super long phrase. I kind of want it to be almost just short phrases being said so it's it looks nicer. You don't want the whole quote or the whole saying just to be on the screen for the entire time. I mean, if you like it like that, you can have it, but I like it like this. So it's bad enough. So then right here, not how hard your childhood. And then if you want, you can make it shorter and you can adjust it just doing like that. And what I love about this is that the animations, there's hundreds of animations and they kind of give you an idea. If you put the, your cursor over it, it shows you. So, you know, if you want to do like a fade in type of an effect, you can, I mean, I think you don't have to, I don't even think you have to select all of it. I think it will automatically be changed uh, to, or I think it's, it's applied to every single one. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to click fade in, and then I'm going to see if it's applied to every single one. So yeah, you're going to have to select all of them. And it, it kind of shows you if there's an effect because there's like a small little arrow at the bottom, which is pretty cool. So if you want the animations, select all of them. And then now every single one has an animation. And how you can tell is because, let me zoom in on the timeline right here. See this little arrow right here? It indicates that there's an effect on it. And if you want to zoom out, just like that. So very easy, simple. And like I said, if you want to even turn this into a text-to-speech type of thing where someone else says the word or let's say you're just putting you know the words but you want someone else like there's not there's no one actually saying anything you can actually have you know someone do a voiceover another cool thing is they also have text to speech and this is a feature that we've seen on TikTok and Instagram where if you type in text and you want it someone to you know be a voice over it then you can select all these right here the animations are endless you have ins and outs you have loops so many different ways and um one of my favorite things is the yellow font recently i just feel like it looks really cool but yeah that's pretty much how i do it and it's so easy you can knock out so many reels and once you're done you just click export Put it where you want it. I always export at 4K. You can do it at 1080. I've heard that you know 1080 does better, especially with Instagram because it compresses it so much. So it's just personal preference. But this is the way I do the subtitles for these motivational reels. So hopefully this video was helpful to anyone out there trying to learn this and be able to repost you know motivational things and. And this is not just for motivational reels. This could be used for a talking headshot. And if you want subtitles for people to read, then you can apply it. The software is so powerful. And what's amazing is that this is a free application. Like, I can't believe it. I think this eventually will not be free. So, you know, really take advantage of it. Final Cut doesn't even have a subtitles you know, software. It's actually a third party that you have to purchase. And it doesn't do as good as CapCut does. So take advantage of it. I hopefully this video helped anyone out there who's looking to, you know, create this type of content. And if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, please subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And I'll be making more videos on tips on how to grow your social media, creating content and so on. So comment down below what you guys want to see more of and I'll make it. So hopefully everyone has a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.